In this quick tip, we're going to look at some great additions to the naming tool in Cinema 4D Release 17. You may not be familiar with the naming tool because it's something that the character animators have kind of been keeping to themselves. It's basically been used in the past to rename the sections of their rig from left underscore to right underscore. But now in Release 17, it's so much more powerful. It's not just for objects anymore. In a previous quick tip, you might have seen me create all of the various takes here for this sports template. And the one issue that I'm left with is when I render this out, if I use the take token name, I'm going to get a lot of overwritten renders with the V Eagles, V Dolphins, V Cyclone, because all of these takes have that name. What I need to do is actually prefix this name with the home team's name. So the naming tool now, which uh, again, you can get to just by choosing tools naming tool, uh, now applies to not just objects, but tags, materials, layers, and takes. So here with takes, we're just going to choose takes, and we're going to select these five, and we're going to prefix them with H underscore eagles, and just hit replace name. And actually, we want to undo that. I'm going to put a underscore after that. And now you can see that these takes are actually named H underscore eagles, V underscore eagles, eagles dolphins, eagles cyclone. And now I can get individual renders that are named specific for each matchup. So we can do this right on down the line. We'll call this H underscore dolphin. With the underscore and hit replace name. So you get the idea. Uh, you can also do this on materials as well. So here we have the materials that relate to team one. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go into the naming tool and I'm going to switch to materials and we're going to prefix that with T1 underscore and hit replace name. And now you can see that all those materials have, an, have a T1 underscore prefix. So I know that they relate to team one and we can do the same thing with team two. And we'll go ahead and just change this to T2 underscore and hit replace name. Uh, works with layers as well. So if I choose layers here, and we'll just go ahead and pop this out so that we can keep seeing it as we switch to the layers manager. Uh, let's say I don't have these numbered. I just have team and team. And what I can do is just select both of these. And we can suffix them with underscore dollar sign n and dollar sign n is a special token that will be replaced with the integer index as it loops through the layers so now when we hit replace name we get team underscore zero and team underscore one it is zero based because these are programmers after all so uh, this is the basics of how you can use the naming tool in Cinema 4D Release 17 to quickly wrangle the names of your objects your materials your tags and your layers as well as your takes.